cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. A growing number of people who received unemployment benefits are getting unsettling letters in the mail. That's right. The Department of Economic Opportunity is pretty much telling them they were overpaid and they want that money back. Some say trying to settle with the state has been a nightmare. So they knew they'd better call Benkin. That's right. In some cases, people think that the state got it wrong, but they can't reach anyone to sort it out. In other cases, though, people tell me that they already paid back the overpayment, but the state keeps asking for more. Robert Cornwell is grateful for the unemployment money he received after he lost his job due to the pandemic. But now he fears Florida's Department of Economic Opportunity is damaging his financial reputation in error. And I would think the DEO's responsibility would be more of getting people back to work. And you can't do that if you wreck their credit. Robert tells me he realized in June that he'd been sent too much money, so he returned $517 and received this receipt. But months later, he got a bill from the state asking for the same overpayment, but for just $275. When he couldn't reach the DEO, he paid again to protect his credit. That's how much my credit is worth. That's how much people should think their credit is worth, $275. Yeah, I'll pay it again if you don't wreck my credit. It didn't work. The bills keep coming. And when he couldn't get answers from the DEO, he knew he'd better call Bankin. Not everybody out there is a thief. There are cases where their system is still not working properly. Luckily for Robert and the growing number of others receiving similar letters and reaching out to me, our camera caught up with Dane Eagle, the secretary of the DEO, when he was in St. Petersburg. But well, we understand the concern. Obviously, it can be concerning if you receive that in the mail. So under the governor's leadership, we've done a few things. One, we've suspended collections. That's just not right. Eagle promised to have his staff contact Robert and said more is in the works to help sort out this situation. We'll have more comprehensive communications coming out that on that later this week. My team's working hard. But we understand the concerns and, and we're answering for it. Robert tells me he still has not received a call from the DEO. I'm going to stay on this story until he does and I will be watching for the state's additional announcement on this topic this week. I'm Shannon Bankin, 8 on your side.